everybody. Happy Friday. Bobby Fi here flying solo sheets. Hopefully you get better. Sorry, you're not feeling well. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, didn't have a great night last night, but uh, actually just wish I didn't see the Spurs news because I left a few lineups in for my other ones. And, and I, I I had a lot of things. I had the clay right. I had a lot of the things that uh, the Spurs kind of took me off of. And I, I mean, guys like Javante Green, who I was on, I just really annoying by the Spurs. But tonight we don't have to worry as much. I think Javante Murray is going to play. I think Poto will probably play as well. Um, and I like both of those plays, but I'm going to get into my favorite plays on the slate. And there's going to be a lot of them because it's early. It's an early first look, but, uh, one of Goodwin or Osman, um, I prefer Osman on DK, Goodwin on fan on draft, um, Osman on FanDuel, Goodwin on DK, but you can switch it up because I think it'll be a little bit lower on the other way around. Not much. Um, one of love Allen or Mobley, uh, I'm going with Mobley and love at first, but it's really just a, a recency bias. And I, I actually think this matchup for Jared Allen, we could see a really monster performance. So I like him on Fandle as a pivot off of Mobley, who's going to be a lot more popular, I believe. Um, other guys who I'm very high on, I, I really like Jalen Brown on FanDuel. I like him on both sides, but I think that he's a really strong play on FanDuel at 8,200. Even at 91 on DK, I mean, Celtics are now have changed things up. They're running an eight-man rotation. And they really are going to play these guys a ton of minutes. And you have a matchup like Detroit, and it is a second of a back-to-back -back for Detroit. It's always blowout risk. But Detroit is at home, and I could see Jalen Brown having a really big game in this spot. I could see Tatum, for that matter, as well, but uh, he's a little bit pricier for me. Um, one of Fred Van Vliet, Siakam, or Trent. I know I say this like basically every day, but I agree with it. I mean, basically, somebody smashes all the time. I don't mind if you want to get a full game stack. Uh, you can use Trey on Fanduel at 8,800, so I like that. Um, to run with that that little, you know, maybe Siakam and Van Vliet, I think is actually a reasonable route to go. You could even throw Scotty Barnes in the mix and OG maybe on uh, DraftKings. Um, really long shot play Boucher because they've been using him to rebound because they've been struggling rebounding lately. So uh, he's a long shot play. Um, I like the Houston-San Antonio game as well. I think the Atlanta-Toronto game looks like it could be stackable. I think the Houston-San Antonio game looks stackable even with Murray back. I think you play Murray, you could play Jalen Green on the other side. You could play Kevin Porter Jr. I think is interesting. I'm probably not going to get to Christian Wood at 8,700, but I think it's viable. It's a really good matchup. So I like that quite a bit. Um, and then I mentioned the Murray Podol. And, and, and by the way, Derek White is still in play, um, even, even with uh, these guys back. I know we haven't seen the huge game from him yet, but I still think he's, he's viable. Uh, Thad Young, obviously a priority, um, assuming that he starts. I think Eubanks is an interesting pivot in large field, but again, they just won't seem to give him the minutes and it's frustrating to try to keep rostering guys like that. Uh, next we've got, uh, I'll, oh, I like Vassal also in that game. Uh, I really like the Embiid versus Luca uh, situation. I think they both could have really big games. There's nobody to match up with Embiid, even though the, the, overall the defense for Dallas is pretty solid, but I don't mind Embiid in slow down matchups. I don't mind Embiid in any matchups. And I like the idea with the Luca Embiid thing. And I think Luca has a big night tonight. I think Embiid has a big night tonight. So that's century spend ups. One spend up who no one's going to go to, I don't think is Donovan Mitchell. Remember it was a concussion he's out with. I'm looking at early minutes projections of like 30 minutes for him. And I'm like, he could play 38 minutes, especially if Clarkson's out, which we don't know about. But even if Clarkson's in, I think Donovan Mitchell's a really good, like off the board -ish play. Um, Trey Mann and, and Darius Baisley, uh, you know, you're sort of playing a little bit of roulette with that, those, those thunder, but those guys both have the upside. Darius Baisley has now been consistently over 27. I think he's been over 27 the last three games, uh, 36 last game, which was an overtime game, I believe. Um, Nicholas Claxton, I don't see people going there very much. And I think he's got a massive ceiling. He just showed it. And against a, a weak Utah, Utah front line with no go bear, I think he's interesting. Um, obviously another guy who we're going to have to keep an eye on is Kyrie because we just got word that James Harden's out. I think Kyrie is uh, super interesting, but I don't love the price. And I still worry a little bit about ceiling caps versus some of these other guys who we could have. We haven't really seen that. 60, 70 point game. And if you're going to play him over DeJounte Murray, I just don't know if that's right. Um, so I'm leaning a little bit more Murray, especially because it fits with my game stacks, but I, I do like um, Kyrie as well. And I like him if you're going to do the double spend up thing. Like, I don't think necessarily he's going to outscore everybody, but I think he's a really safe bet to get 50 plus. And he does have upside. We know it from the path. He has, can, he can get 70, but it's just, we haven't seen it recently. And it's just, it's just a little bit of something to keep in mind. Um, 
Lou Dort is interesting to me on DK. I really like uh, Giddy on FanDuel still. And even with him not really having that massive ceiling that we've seen at 6K, it's just good enough price where I'm going to take that shot. Um, again, on FanDuel, uh, the one other guy who stands out a little bit is LaMelo, who can fit into a game stack because those Cleveland guys are really underpriced. So you can play three Clevelands and, and, and LaMelo as a part of a stack and go that way. But I will be live with you guys at 6 Eastern for at least 20 minutes to a half hour, and we'll go through what to do. I'll also be in Discord. Um, remember, those late pivots are gonna what gonna be what wins you tournaments. It's what won me the big one the other night. Um, you're gonna you're gonna want to stay by your computer if you're playing late tonight because I think there's gonna be some some action in the later games. Um, I like Nurkic also. Any any one Blazer, I, I would have no, no argument against, but Nurkic would be my favorite, especially on FanDuel. Um, anyway, I'm going to post all my stuff, all my bets, all my early builds on truedfs.com. So check that out. If you guys need a discord link, just hit me up. I'll send it to you and let's make some money today, guys. Um, good luck to everyone out there and yeah, let's crush it.